Guns, rifles, and ballistic gear all stolen from two Metro Police Patrol cars. Both cars were outside of the officer's apartments. Our Danielle Jackson joins us. And Danielle, they're now in an internal investigation going on. That's right, Marius. Metro Police say it appears the guns were not left in a secure manner. I talk with people who live in one of the apartment complexes where they say break-ins happen at least once a week. They should know better than that. That's Brenda Wright's reaction after hearing about two Metro Police officers patrol cars were broken into. Thieves got away with their weapons and gear. They're trained and they know they're not supposed to leave stuff unattended to. Seriously. Metro Police say Friday morning around 2.30 a.m. an officer's patrol car window was busted. Thieves stole a rifle, helmet and ballistic plates from the officer's marked MMPD SUV outside of their Massman Drive apartment. I talked with a few neighbors off camera who told me this area sees car break-ins often. On that same day, Metro Police say another Metro officer's patrol car was broken into outside of their apartment complex on Rice Road around 4.30 in the morning. Thieves broke the window, took the officer's shotgun and riot gear. Wright says her complex has beefed up their security recently. They have put up surveillance cameras. They have sent out notices to let people know that we need to be proactive and not reacting to stuff. However, she's not too sure if the patrol car is much of a deterrent. She believes both thefts could have been avoided. And they able to lead by examples. If they got their vehicles and they know all what they have in it, they know what they should have done with that. It should have been locked up. And so far this year, nearly 850 guns have been stolen from vehicles in Nashville. And just last week, 20 were taken from cars. Metro data reveals that nearly 80% of guns stolen this year have been taken from automobiles. Mar